Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna share with you five fragrances that will warm you up. I know that there's an extreme, and I mean an extreme cold front that has gripped all of the United States practically, and I thought maybe it would be fun to share with you guys some fragrances from my collection that I love to wear when it's cold that warm me up and not the ones that I normally wear. So you're not going to see Oud Cashmere Mood in here, things like that. Some of these are newer to my collection. Some of these things are older to my collection, but I thought it would be fun to share with you guys fragrances that are just really warm and fun. So anyway, let's get into it. Now, I'm not going to go into the notes of these because I think I have reviews of just about every single one of these. If I have a review of it, I will link it below. But I did want to kind of tell you why I chose these. So the first one I'm going to share with you is from Armani Privé and it's Queer Amethyst. Now this is a really beautiful, sexy leather scent. It smells soft and velvety and sweet and syrupy and it's just really gorgeous. One of the types of fragrances I love to wear specifically when it's cold is leather scents, specifically very robust leather scents. And there's also something about sweet, like heavily sweet things that work really well in the cold. Kind of reminds me when I would like go camping and it would be really cold. I mean, cold for Florida is like 50 degrees and we would have s'mores and just kind of like that sweetness kind of reminds me of the warmth of the campfire. I mean, warmth of the campfire, it's, it's all a nostalgia thing for me, but this scent just smells beautiful. It's really sexy. It smells amazing on men or women. And if you're looking for a scent that'll warm you up and also work really well in chilly weather, Queer Amethyst from Armani Privé is fantastic. This next one is definitely a luxury fragrance, so it's not gonna be for everybody, but this composition, this style of fragrance works really well. So I'm going to talk about this fragrance and then I'm also just gonna kinda let you know the types of fragrances that you can look for if this is the type of composition position you enjoy wearing and it's from Raja Parfums and it's Amber Oud. Now you guys this is pricey. This is a very expensive bottle of perfume but what I love about this is the mix of just the sweetness and the syrupiness and that oud and it's just really really gorgeous. I go more in depth with into the review about like the the composition of the scents, how it works on my skin but what I love about oud is that it works to me in a variety of different environments. It actually works beautifully in very strong hot environments and also really cold frigid environments. It's a very versatile note. It's a very beautiful note and I just love it. And I feel like because this is a little bit on the sweeter side, a tiny bit more floral and you've got that magnificent oud in there, this is one that works really well in cold weather and also will just kind of warm you up because of that sweetness and that kind of smokiness that's in there. I absolutely love this scent and definitely recommend it. But if you're looking for something that's more on the affordable side, uh, check out Perry Ellis, um, their Oud fragrances. Black Vanilla is fantastic. That's another one that would work really well. Um, that's kind of on the similar side of something sweet and Oud. I am a tea fanatic and I love white chocolate. So going back to sweet fragrances that warm me up and just make me really happy, we have Coco Blanc from House of Matriarch. This scent is amazing absolutely amazing. It's considered a gateway scent for natural perfumery or luxury perfumery. It's really easy to wear. The vanilla in here is really predominant uh, and you have that beautiful chocolate note but what I love is the chai spices and so to me it smells like this really luscious cup of like hot spiced tea with that just like a little bit of white chocolate in there that makes it really sexy and that just kind of warms me up just even thinking about drinking something like that and being able to smell it all day. Just absolutely a magnificent scent. So Coco Blanc most definitely is a scent I would recommend. Uh, other scents from House of Matriarch if you're so inclined. Kazemi works really well. She works magnificently and also the Longing are other scents that Christy has come out with that just work really well in really cold weather too. If you want something delicious, exotic, and also unique but really wearable, I cannot recommend the Bewitching Yasmin from Hen Halligans enough. This one is scrumptious. It's so delicious. It's very inviting. It's smoky. It's sweet. There's just something about this that everyone who smells it just freaks out. They're like, when they hear about the notes, they're like, I need to try that. And when they wear it on the skin, they're like, I need to buy it. And it took me a long time to finally buy this because I had a lot of samples of it that were sent to me. And I was finally like, okay, I'm breaking it down and I'm purchasing this. So 
This is scent works really well in colder mornings. I feel like it might be a little too, it might not be strong enough for colder evenings. And I'm talking about frigidly cold. I'm not talking like 60s, 70s, or 50s. I'm talking about like negative two. <laughs> And so if you're looking for something to wear during the day that's really beautiful, that's exotic and delicious, and you want to smell a little bit different, but it's also really easy to wear and will warm you up, uh, the, bitch uh, the Bewitching Yasmin is just perfect. Now, these four fragrances were all on the luxury side. They're $200 or more, $240 or more. So I wanted to make sure that I gave you guys a really affordable option as well, something that you can easily find just about anywhere, at least if you look on the internet, that performs beautifully, that smells amazing, and will definitely warm you up. And this is a scent that ever since I was turned onto it, I have been unable to just stop wearing it and it's from Balmain, and it's Ambergris. This scent is magnificent. Magnificent. It is warm. It is cozy. It is sweet. It's got a touch of powder, and that coziness to it, like, just really works in frigid weather. I like the fact that you can wear this professionally. I like the fact that you can wear this formally. I like the fact that you can wear this casually. This is one of the few designer scents out there where I would say if you purchase it full price, it is worth it, but you can find fantastic, fantastic deals on this scent. And it's just absolutely beautiful. And most people who have smelled this are like, that's so underappreciated. More people need to know about this fragrance, especially if you like warm scents, if you like cozy scents, if you like sweet powdery scents. This is a great, great, amazing fragrance. And just overall, it works beautiful in winter weather. In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to know what fragrances you guys are rocking during this cold front. What fragrances do you bring out when it's like really cold outside and you have to bundle up and everything's just like colder than what you would ever want it to be? Does anything work for you to just kind of put you in the mindset of warmth and happiness and coziness? I'd love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section below. As always guys, if you like this comment, uh, this content, I don't know why am I slipping my words so much. If you like this type of content, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell. I love seeing this channel grow and you can be notified when you hit the bell when I have new content coming up if you are so inclined. In any case guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I will see you next time. Bye.